thank you so much for your company this morning. Hudson and Halls, they were pioneers of celebrity television in New Zealand. Can you imagine if they're around now? Inspired, be there all the time. A New York Times best-selling author, Joanne Drayton, is with us now to tell us about all about her new biography, which celebrates the lives of two of our biggest television stars and promises to uncover never-before-made public stories about their childhoods. Her book is called Hudson and Halls, The Food of Love, and it is really great to have you in the studio, Joanne. Oh, thank you very much. It's lovely to be here and to um, experience some of the cooking. Some of the cooking. Oh, yeah. nothing on Hudson and Halls, yeah, that's, that's for right. sure. Um, you've done quite a few things. Let's talk about some of your other very impressive works. You are the author of New York Times bestseller, The Search for Anne Perry, mm. which is about the Parker Hill murders, wasn't right, it? Right, Which yes. followed on from Peter Jackson's yes. film Heavenly Creatures. Yep, absolutely. Um, that would have been quite fascinating to research. Oh, it was, it was amazing. It's, um, it was incredible to get access to her and her friends and her publisher's circle. You know, I, I, it was amazing. I, she refused to um, a, a be interviewed by Oprah Winfrey. Wow. So um, I thought, yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, so I was just delighted. And I think she was ready to, to tell her story sometimes. And, and you're off to her birthday soon, yeah. aren't you? I am. Wow. I am. Her 80th birthday. Gosh. Yeah, that's yeah. quite a relationship, isn't I know. it? Well, okay. It's good. I guess it happens when you write, I guess, and you learn more about human beings. Why did you want to write a book about Hudson and Halls? Well, I, I lo I, the love story is partly what really drew me to it, I think. I, it was an intense... Uh, love story right. that that was actually um, right in front of New Zealand television. It was mm. it was on camera. It was live, and it was a gay story. Two men who f who fell in love, who worked together and hated each other at times, <laughs> and had the most amazing rows, uh, even on camera and in front of the audience. So, I mean, they were they were uh, they were characters. They were. Fascinating. They were huge characters. So David Halls, he was um, the blonde one, wasn't yes. he? The amazing blonde. Because yep. they're together so often, you forget, you know, sometimes which you forget which one was which. Yes. Like he was the blonde <laughs> one. Yeah. And Peter Hudson was the dark haired <laughs> one. And he was from Melbourne. Mm. But they met in New Zealand. They did. They did. So they were both from overseas, both mm. escaped their backgrounds in a way to come to New Zealand. New start, new opportunities. And uh, they met in uh, 1962 in New Zealand at a party Gosh. and fell instantly in love. And um, the rest is history in a way because um, David was already here. He was a Sussex boy from um, from from Epping, uh, and and obviously Peter was from Melbourne, and mm. David was already here. Peter came over, and they began their partnership. And at a time where television was quite stiff, they were a breath of fresh air because they were real. So how did they go from meeting and working at a restaurant to getting on TV? Well, they well they actually had they entertained at home so they had uh, lots and lots of parties and became quite well known and they did have connections into the uh, film and television world internationally they knew Elton John they had you know they they knew people wow. mm. and they so they did a, a demo um, kind of uh, for speakeasy actually okay yeah, yeah. and um, and they were uh, actually ultimately Wow. Welcomed onto the stage, and of, um, it was yeah, such a huge hit, wasn't it? Um, they were on screen too a long time before homosexuality was decriminalised, yes, weren't they? Absolutely. So, did general the general public in New Zealand know that they were a couple? I mean, how did it work? I mean, <laughs> well, it's really interesting. <laughs> I would say that it was some like George Michael. Knew. We didn't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we didn't know. Well, some people didn't know. Honestly, they didn't know, and and, and didn't work it out, and thought they were probably just flatmates. Um, but you know, there, there, there were there were a lot of people who began to realise that that um, that gay people were out there doing things, exciting things, things that were now on public display, and and people became proud of them and followed them. And so I believe they changed the culture. Of, of New yeah. Zealand in terms of, you know, that popular culture that television introduced and, yeah. I know that there's a lot of stories in there that you have to buy the book if you want to hear more stories. But what were they like as children, you know? Because we, we wanted to find out a little bit more about them What's the never before heard story? Oh, <laughs> well, <laughs> that's it. You know, that, that was, I mean, those are the ultimate moments as a researcher that you right. just absolutely that's crave. Right. You wait for them. I mean, getting in touch with and being accepted by Anne Perry was one, but discovering Peter, Peter's background was amazing because we went to um, to Melbourne mm. uh, expecting to find not much because there was not much known about him. And um, I was uh, in the hotel, I had a search engine, um, I, I was putting random names and uh, combinations of things in and bingo, I found out about his, his mother or his, 
officially his mother, who probably wasn't. In fact, wow. in 1926, she was charged with murder. She was, a, uh, um, yeah. Wow. Well, I know. Well, that's fascinating. Well, that's what I did. But if you want to know more. I want to know more. Oh, you yes. have to buy the book. Oh. Joanne Drayton's biography, <laughs> Hudson and Hall, The Food of Love, is available from Brilliant. all good bookshops right now. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank, thank you. Thank you. Oh, Brilliant. My pleasure. <laughs> yeah, no, I can't wait to read the rest of that.